Praise the Lord. <coughs> we welcome you all to our live broadcast this Sunday, September 12, 2021. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for today. We give you all the praise and honor. You have been with us all week, been with your people. You continue to preserve and protect us and guide us against every snares and every pits that the enemy has done for your children. You continue to elevate your children to the higher places. You continue to open their eyes and their hearts. You continue to enable them to walk in the path of righteousness. Father, it's all you're doing, and we we'll give you all the praise and honor. May your counselor shine upon all who hear this broadcast or watch in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessings, glory, and honor as we play the blood of Jesus Christ upon this environment, in wherever it is being broadcast or heard. Father, preserve and protect your people. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. The instrumental taken from our brother Caleb Brassi. Again, we continue to say, Lord, continue to bless him and his family. We are concluding the Clash of the Kingdom series. The series outline, you already know, we started with John announces the advent of the Kingdom of Heaven. The new position by Jewish religious leaders to the Kingdom of God was the second sermon. The third one was the Lord exposes, rebukes and condemns Jewish religious leaders for their hypocrisy and apostasy. Then, the fourth week was why it is difficult to enter the kingdom of God. The last week was a subterfuge of the kingdom of darkness. Today, concluding, who are the sons and daughters of the kingdom of God? They are marching on. They know themselves and God knows them too. The outline, who are those who belong to the kingdom of God? Only God can confirm those who are his children. Three, children of God are overcomers. Four, children of God's overarching desire is to be like their Lord. And five, they are all about God's mission to set the captives free. Who are those who belong to the kingdom of God? First scripture, please. First John chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Praise the Lord. These are those who belong to the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. Number one, those who believe that Jesus is the Christ, that's the Messiah, that's the Son of God sent to the world. Two, they also love the one who died for them, which is Jesus Christ. And how do they love him? They show their love for him by keeping his commandments. So don't say you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, but you're not keeping his commandments. So those who belong to the kingdom of God are those who believe and keep the commandments of their Lord and Savior. Three, it is by faith in God that overcome the world. Not by their own achievements, not by their own strength, not by their own powers, but by faith in God, they overcome the world. Number four, they don't form alliances with that kingdom that opposes the kingdom of God. Remember there was harmony in Eden, the garden of God. Till the enemy of humanity came down and deceived Eve. And Eve enticed Adam to eat the fruit in the garden. And with that, the harmony in Eden, in the world that God had created, was destroyed. There was chaos. Christ came and paid a price 
in order to retrieve, to save those who are in bondage. And yet the enemy still continues to operate, keeping children of God, guessing that they have not overcome. And at the same time, keeping many still in bondage. But then those who are in bondage have the choice to walk out from Satan's bondage. God will not force them to come out. They have a choice. When Christ died on the cross, he created that choice. For those in the kingdom of darkness, that's all who have not believed, to walk out from there and enter the kingdom of God. It's an open invitation. Number two. Next topic. On next item. Only God can confirm those who are his children. Many parents that are God's children. But the question is, does God know you as his child? Scripture, please. Romans chapter 8, verses 14 to 19. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. So you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's Spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba Father, for his Spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Praise the Lord. Number one, the Holy Spirit leads God's children. So if you are not led by the Spirit of God in the things you do, go back to the closet and ask God for the Holy Spirit. Two, are you so fearful of everything? No, God makes his children fearless. That's how you know that you're a child of God. You are fearless. You don't care what goes around you because you know your Father in heaven is there with you. Number three, God gives the Holy Spirit to his adopted children. The third paraclete comes. So the second paraclete comes. To empower his children. So if you are not empowered, seek the Holy Spirit. Seek the baptism in the Holy Spirit. If not, you are not, you, are not, you see, you, you are still a little kid, but until you receive the Holy Spirit, truly, you will be tossed around by every wind of doctrine. Number four. God allows his children to call him Abba Father. You go into your closet with you and don't say, say, Father God. Abba Father. You see, because you are there. Because Christ the Lord is seated on his right hand. And you are there with Christ in the heavenly places. And so that's why you can call him Abba Father. When you have a problem, cry out to your father. When you are joyful, thank your father. What a joy to be called. For God to allow you to call him Abba Father. If you are afraid to call him Abba Father, then there's a problem. Then, the Holy Spirit affirms those who are God's children to their spirits. You know deep down whether you're a child of God or not. Because the Holy Spirit confirms in your heart that you're a child of God. By the things he lets you, allows you to do, when he chastises you or when he guides you and directs you. So you know he's living your life. Then God makes the children to know that they are heirs. That means they inherit us. And that together with Christ, they are heirs to his glory. Yes. He lets you know. His word said so. So he lets them know. God makes his children know while here on earth that to share in his glory they must also share in Christ's sufferings through death to selfish desires. That's why the word of God said, except a grain of wheat dies, it abides it alone. So if you're still so much entangled with the world, everything is about you, you're not thinking about the kingdom of heaven, then there is a problem somewhere. Either you're not truly a child of God, or you're not committed to the kingdom, and then you are in danger of falling off. God lets his children 
Know that whatever they suffer while on earth, because God's children will suffer on this earth. Contrary to what many of your pastors tell you. It's incomparable to the glory that you reveal to them. If God could allow his son to suffer, why would you not allow his other children who are going to be co inheritors with Christ to suffer? Think about it. It is through that suffering that he perfects you and perfects me. It's only at the end of the age, of course, God will reveal those who have been faithful among those he confirmed as his children. That's the scripture we just read. Next scripture, please. Romans chapter 8, verses 29 and 30. For God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son, so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. Praise the Lord. Are you aware God knows? See, God knows the ending from the beginning. God already knows those who will be faithful. He's not the one making you to be unfaithful. But he knows whether you'll be faithful or not, even when you make commitments. He chose you and I to become like his son, Jesus. So that when his son, who is the firstborn among many brothers and sisters, you will be among them, sons and daughters of God, following in with Christ as in the, next, in the next glory of God, which is the new world, the new earth, and the new heaven. Having chosen them, he called them to him. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ said, My sheep hear my voice, and I'm hard of them. Many are so hard of hearing because they, are not, they don't belong to the flock. So when you preach or go on evangelism, and they don't hear, don't worry yourself. If they are not of the fold, they will never hear you. But if they are of the fold, Something will happen to them along the line for them to come back to Christ. And when he has called them, those he has chosen, to his beloved, he gave them right standing. They have authority and power. And having given them the right standing, he gave them his glory. They can behold the glory of God even while on earth. That's why children of God are overcomers. The next slide. Children of God have overcome us. Number three, item three. Children of God have overcome us. Scripture, please. Romans chapter 8, verse 39. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. See what I'm saying? No power. No kingdom, darkness, empire, it doesn't matter. Can snatch you up from the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. So long as you are rooted in him, nothing. So all you have to do is, as a child of God, cleave to him. No matter the circumstances, no matter the difficulties you face, don't give up. Have faith in God. Because you have overcome. Because the Lord said, I have overcome the world. Therefore, you are also an overcomer. Don't let anybody else deceive you. You have overcome. Scripture, please. 1 John chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Praise the Lord. Followers of Christ, God's children, know that they overcome us. Because their Lord and Savior has already overcome the kingdom of darkness and that of the world. They are never afraid. They are not beggars. So stop begging. Because they know that they are hidden in Christ. Stop prostituting yourself before human beings. Looking for one thing or the other. Stand firm in the faith that Christ has called you and I. And ask Father in heaven, your Abba Father, my Abba Father, to come to your aid. And you make a way where there is no way. 
When you rely on human beings, you are saying, God, I went there, I'll be coming back. No. Stop being slavish to human beings because you want one favor or the other from them. You can't overcome that way. Children of God are forward looking because of overcomers. They're looking onto the author and finisher of their faith. Who told them that they must never fear the devil and his gods or anything in the world? That's why those people, those mad 